honored to be here. Y'all are worshiping already up in here. So I'm honored to just come in and go with the flow. Um, everybody happy about being in the house of the Lord tonight? Come on. Hallelujah. So Father, take center stage so that you would be seen and glorified. Father, we want to see your will be done. We want to see your kingdom come. We want to see your glory cover the earth like the waters cover the sea. So move by your spirit. Continue to move by your spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Can somebody put your hands together in this place? Hey, there's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. Come on, somebody raise it. There's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb hey. up, coming after me. There's no wall grateful. Come on, lift your hands if you're grateful. Hallelujah. How many know that there is only one name with the power to save? There is only one name with the power to heal, the power to deliver. And his name is Jesus. It's the name above every name. And we worship you, Lord. There is only one name. There is only one name with power to save. With power to save. Come on, raise it. Say, there is only one name. There is only one name. There is only one name. With power to say. With power to say. With power to say. And his name is Jesus. Name above every name. Say, I got, I got, say, he's saying. 
champions. And he reigns forevermore.
I still believe because you, Lord, you are worthy. And no one can worship you for me. For all the things that you've done for me, no one can worship you for me. Do you know that your worship has its own fingerprint, its own DNA? So you, Lord, you are
share a quick testimony really quickly um, my mom told me that I did not start speaking until I was five years old you can to bring it down just a little bit so I can hear myself so I didn't start sp speaking until I was five and I found it really interesting because my son Isaiah did not start speaking until he was five and my wife and I were praying and praying and believing God. And then it's like, and they had him on the autism spectrum at that time. And it's just like when he turned five, it's like his tongue was released. And he just started to speak. And, you know, the devil is a liar because Isaiah now is a junior in college on the honor roll. You know, yeah. And so... My mom told me, she said, Phil, you know, if autism was around at that time, they probably would have had you on that same spectrum, you know? And, but when I turned five, I just started to speak. And after I started to speak, for years of my life, I had a terrible stutter. So I don't know if anybody's ever dealt with a stutter before, but it's like you weigh in your mind the effort that it takes to get something out. And a lot of times you'll have something to add to a conversation, but it's so difficult getting it out. And it's not only difficult, it's also embarrassing trying to get it out. And so most times people that deal with terrible stutters, they have something to say, but they just push it back down, you know? And so, you know, for most of my life, here's the lie that I believed from the enemy. You know, I've always been such a shy and introverted person as well. So, you know, because the enemy will use your history against you, you know? And the lie that I always believed for most of my life was that I had nothing valuable to say. And so that's why when I wrote this song, that there's, there's one line that just means so much to me. And, and it's the line, and I will not be silent. And I feel like, I feel like wherever we are singing this song, every time I sing that lyric, and I will not be silent, I feel like I'm letting the enemy know that he lost. He lost this round. <laughs> Come on, last time. And I will not be I will always worship you. Say as long. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you.